Thanks to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Whoa. Oh, it's big? And look at that view. Absolutely insane. Got one world trade right there. That's a water tower and that's a hole. And best of all, look at that. The kitchen is accessible from the terrace. Perfect if you're hungry. Exactly, now you have to go back in. <laughs> this is like having an outdoor grill. That's how close it is. to the West Village. By the way, if you need a good breakfast cart, this one right here, right here, right by the train. It's pretty convenient, you can get anywhere you want, including to the movie theater, where they sell t-shirts and movie tickets. Then you can get yourself a tattoo either here or here, and some of that $1.50 pizza, which used to cost only a dollar. Conveniently, there's a 7-Eleven. This building, that was a McDonald's. Maybe you remember if you're familiar with down here. There's a lot of local wildlife here in the park. These uh, non-migratory birds, I forget the name, but they're everywhere in this city. It's nice to see the fountains are running again. Although I don't know if I'd go for a swim in here, but believe it or not, people do. It's a nice park for a downtown location. That's probably because NYU's over here and over here. Here's the park and look, you can see they've got it completely surrounded. It could be that a lot of money comes into this thing. Keep it the way you see it. Behold the arch. That's General George Washington, and that is President George Washington. Bet you didn't even know that. There's the Empire State Building, and the apartment's like two blocks that direction. And they have these barricades here so that nobody drives their car straight through the park, which according to my uncle actually happens. Oh, look, there's a little squirrel on this tree, and that's nice. I haven't seen one rat since I've been here for five minutes. And you can see the grass here has been destroyed from hipsters reading their books texting their friends. This lawn was closed and look at how it's recovering. Look at that, it's coming back. The only complaint with this park is that it's not really an exercise park. That would be Central Park or like Prospect Park. Although I guess this is a good exercise park if you're a dog. If you can't tell, there is a scene down here. Just not right now, it's the morning. Next to this cafe, we have Mamoon's Falafel. If you run out of money, there's a lot of very safe looking ATM machines. Yeah, that's not suspect in any way. Look, it's working, it's on beeps. Then over here we have the Comedy Cellar. Got some legends coming through here. Then there's the theater. They got a lot of books in here for some reason. If you want good pizza, artichoke's not bad. I just don't like their namesake, ugh. But the pepperoni, no complaints. The grizzly pear, probably not a vegetable market. Can you believe people actually live on this chaotic street? This is called McDougal Street. Restaurants everywhere. In fact, there's so many. Look at this, you can barely even walk down the street since 1918. But not lying, it's actually a real thing. $28 pork chop, it's probably life changing. Corn dogs aren't bad. And then there's this German kebab place. There's no way you're gonna move to this neighborhood and not end up on this street at some point. So it's good that you know what's here. In fact, the entire neighborhood is like this. Just stuff going on everywhere you look, including spray paint, but that helps keep the rent high because people think it's cool. Best coffee in the neighborhood. Plus you can buy the coffee and bring it back to wherever you came from. Even if that's your apartment in another state. Grocery store, doesn't look like a grocery store. What's up Sky? Hey. Where are we going today? We're going right over here. Right here, this tower. The Empire State Building could be amazing. Ah, it's right there. And the park is right there, right over there where the arch is. Which might mean these apartments are expensive, but you can work that out with Sky. Definitely can. We have to talk about something. This is my calendar. Sundays I take off, but the other six days I am walking around New York City. It's exhausting, it's a lot of work, and I could smell like New York City. But the reason I don't is because of today's video sponsor, Scentbird. My favorite place to discover amazing and inexpensive fragrances without schlepping all the way over to some annoying, expensive department store. For just $17, this is a 20, Scentbird will let you choose a new designer fragrance to try out every single month. They've got everything from perfumes to colognes Oh, uh, this one's a perfume. Can you smell this for me? Mm, nice. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Violet, you want to smell this? Is it yummy or yucky? Yucky. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> She's only four. This one has lime, black pepper, amber. And to open the bottle, you click it, and this is actually the sprayer. <laughs> Yummy or yucky? Smell it. Thank you. <laughs> is it good or bad? Yep. And with each fragrance, you get a generous 30-day supply. This way you can try it out without committing to like a full-size bottle. Those are like $200. And best of all, Scentbird carries brands like Gucci, Prada, Versace, along with niche brands like this one, which smells amazing. Use my coupon code for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. And if you use it, that means for about seven bucks, you're gonna smell amazing. Come on, that's, that's a good deal. And everyone around you will appreciate it. Older apartments with like these designs. These are always massive. What does this cost? 8,300. 83, and in how many bedrooms? One bedroom. But that's probably because this is a penthouse in New York's most popular neighborhood on Fifth Avenue. With a deck and a view of downtown. There are some less expensive places in this building we're gonna see right after. That unit right there is empty, which means one of the others might be on this floor, but I don't think anything else has this deck. This is 27 feet long. And even though those windows can see it, that's our kitchen, that's our living room. We're so high up, this bird got tired and had to land there and take a break. I think this is 14 floors. You can really see the detail in these old buildings and in these air conditioners. Look at these characters over here. They have their own little makeshift deck. It's crazy how this is one of the tallest buildings in the area, and it's definitely not a skyscraper. We've got a porch light, some power outlets. Oh, and maybe water access. You could build a little garden oasis up here. I think that would be awesome. Awesome. Like a little row of trees or something to kind of make it green. That way the guys at the construction site down here can't keep an eye on you, but you can keep an eye on them. I also like that there's rocks up here. That would have been such a pain in the neck to do yourself. On second thought, maybe not. There is an elevator here. It doesn't look like we have a working fireplace. But this section of the living room is 22 and a half by 14. And this dining area slash foyer is 13 by 10. So many apartments in New York are small, where you sacrifice basically everything to have a place that just fits a mattress. If it were me, I would keep the area by the doorway open. Yeah, so you could put a bench over here, coat rack over there. Automatic light. Really? Oh, look at that. And it qualifies as a walk-in. Why is there a mirror on the inside of the closet? Oh no. This is kind of confusing us. I don't think anyone was like getting dressed in here. That would be weird. Maybe it has some stuff on it. You clean yourself up and then you leave for the day. But even if you keep this open, over here you can still have a six person table, then a TV. Actually, I would mount the TV over there and then put a couch right against the wall. This box right here, these are two heaters. This will give you a nice comfortable setup for entertainment entertaining guests, hanging out, taking Zoom calls, working from home. I like this kitchen. Not only do we have the awesome deck view, it has so many cabinets that you start using these for clothing you don't wear all the time. There are so many. Yeah. And it's like some very spacious. Tons of counter space for appliances, for prep. Honestly, this half of the kitchen looks like what we were going to expect. Decent microwave, big oven, lots of room. $8,000 water pressure. You have to check it. Oh, that might even be $9,000 water pressure. Pretty strong. You're getting a deal. And the fridge opens the right way. And it's nice inside. That's a good design for a small space. Because when you're in it, it certainly doesn't feel that way. This is for the doorman downstairs. And this is probably gonna be your linen closet. You know you're in a luxury apartment when there's a separate tub and a separate shower. Did you know it had a shower? Yeah. See the spout like that? Yeah, one of a kind. It's gonna like shoot straight down. Then over here we got the sink, medicine, storage. Not just one, but two sets of outlets. Sliding door for the tub. And on the other side of the glass, look, we even have a little window, which has, mm, not really much to look at. And underneath the sink, we've got storage. This is actually a heater. Look at that, little heater in there. Warm you up when you come out the tub. Seventeen by thirteen. Any size bed you want, right here. 
Closet number one. Closet number two. This one also has a mirror in it. Same view here as the living room. And there's plenty of room for dressers, desks, other stuff. And in this part of town, you'll find studio apartments that would fit inside this very same bedroom. And look at how the bedroom is separated from the rest of the living room. If there's noise over here, it'll still be quiet over here. Where did, oh, there you are. Okay. You get lost in here. I know, this place is so big. How much is this? This one's 7,600. So this is cheaper than that other place. It actually is. This over here is the bedroom, and that is where we just were, right out there on that very same deck. Do these windows open? Ooh, look at that. Got that classic old school hinge design. And the view here might actually be more interesting. This one has safety glass, and we're facing that old castle. All right. Uh, maybe the view itself isn't better, but I think this might be the more functional of the two so far. And there might be a third apartment we see. Bedroom has the same dimensions as the other one, but it feels brighter because again, we've got two windows. Which bedroom's your favorite? I like this one. It feels so much brighter. I would probably put the bed right here. Okay. I'm put it going this way. Oh, you got two spots for it. Decent closet with a light. Yep, automatic lighting. I don't remember if the other apartment have this, but we have an AC built in. And then as you wind your way around the corner, we have the bathroom and uh, another closet. So interesting how we've got the double bath on both apartments that are up here. Look at the way they did the tub. Really, really cool looking. I like how there's the divider, which is like half see-through. And even though it's long and narrow, there's still more than enough room to sit down and watch your favorite TikToks. Bathroom windows, someone left it open. That's not good. Let's close that. Also, look how it's frosted like two different ways. Charming character, baby. Sink is like the same design as the other spot. Someone left their glasses in here. And the living room and kitchen here are totally different. by 13 and I stopped at the stairs so there's actually more room here in this foyer I'm not really too sure if you'd even want a table in here TV above the fireplace couch across from it table in this nook right here so you're probably gonna fit just as much stuff in here as you were in that other place but for less money also whoever owns that apartment that is a roof castle I would love to see a place like that closet number one and closet number two is over here by the door. And it has these fancy built-in shelves. Also with the foyer, I guess over here you can make a, like a little desk area, a little workstation. There's a plug. And if you take Zoom calls with this as your background, people will know you mean business. Brand new washer dryer in unit. Is that better than the deck? I think it might be more useful. Also, even though this kitchen has less counter space than the other one, because it feels bigger, that is definitely gonna matter to someone. The fridge is also larger. Ditto the oven, that's definitely a bigger range. All the views are equally great, but there is somebody who's gonna be upset that they rented this. Let's say you would have rather had the penthouse and it rents, you're gonna have to see whoever lives in it out on their deck. Shoveling the snow off of it while you're in here nice and warm. It's probably the better deal. Or is it? Did you save the cheapest place for last? How are you? This one feels like a palace. What's it cost? 7,600. 76, so it's like kind of in the middle of the last two. We've got the double sunken living room. Look at that, two little sets of staircases leading down to the fireplace. The view is also elegant. We're on a lower floor, but the good thing about that is it's quiet, and then you look up and you just see green, or in this case, the sky. But I definitely see ivy on these buildings over here. Two nice closets right by the door. This one even has the inside mirror, but no ledge for keys. And we're getting a brand new kitchen. Well, maybe not brand new, but I'm guessing that stove and that dishwasher and this refrigerator. They're not invisible appliances. No, they're in the process of being replaced. Although I'm sure there's some New York landlord saying they've got an apartment with an imaginary dishwasher. Don't rent from that guy. You might even be able to get a table up here. I mean, of course you could set the living room up as like a nice den. There's plenty of room for that. And you see this little 
doorway, bedroom on one side, bathroom on the other. The bedroom's solid. We've got a corner unit view and then we've got like another window. This is the same exact view that we had from the living room as well. Double closets. In this building, as you go down to lower floors, the layouts get even more interesting. And then look at the bathroom. This is definitely cool. Old school tub, newish sink. And then look at this. They did not forget to put in the little separate shower. Wait a second. Have we been here before? No, different units, same layout. Lower price. Yeah. Kitchen looks almost the same. Oh, but there's no laundry in this one. But laundry in the building. Oh yeah, laundry in unit doesn't really matter because there's laundry downstairs. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Remember to use the code below. I'll see you in the next video.